So this video is a vlog update on my travel plans for January. So in my last video, I told you that I was looking to do some disaster relief work in Kentucky through Samaritan's Purse or Team Rubicon. And I have not heard back from Team Rubicon yet on uh, whether I can get an exemption for the vaccination. And uh, I have heard back from Samaritan's Purse that um, although they are not able to um, pay for my travel expenses, they are able to find me a um, disaster relief site project uh, closer to where I'm at right now. So, so the reason I was showing you this, this is um, some winter gear that I bought knowing that I was going to go up to Kentucky where it gets down to the 20s and I'll be working during the day in the 40s. So I got some, um, some winter gear. So I got this jacket, uh, which is very nice and insulated. And I got this at the thrift store for only $6. And then I also got um, some snow pants, um, actually Columbia, which I know is a good brand. And uh, it's got this like really cool lining in there that looks like it's going to reflect my heat heat back into me so I'll stay nice and warm so um, so I got reassigned to a project that is only three hours away instead of a uh, 10 hour over 10 hours drive away and 700 miles so so I'm thankful to God for uh, giving me that opportunity um, so they'll still uh, provide me a place to stay overnight and three meals a day and I just need to find a dog sitter for my dogs so I'm hoping I can find something that's like within 30 minutes of where I'm going to be at so just in case there's something wrong with the dogs or I just want to go visit them then uh, it's not that too far for me to, to go so so I'm going to be using rover.com at first to see what I can find in that area um, so, so that's basically it for today in terms of changes in my plans. And, uh, oh, the other thing is I get to go on January, I get to be there January 3rd, where the other one, they didn't have room for me until January 6th. So, so this will be more of a smooth transition and won't have to go as far or two. So, um, so yeah, I think, uh. I am seeing God's hand in things. Um, things are, are a little bit smoother because I was a little bit apprehensive about uh, working in a colder environment. <laughs> but I think God saw that you know I was committed to it and realized that you know it was going to be temporary. And I can always use this winter gear here because it does get down to the 30s and 40s. Um, some days, not every day, but, and when I go back to uh, the organic farms, um, you know, there's going to be days where it, it gets down to the 30s, and hopefully not 20s, but you just never know, you know, they did have a cold snap in the south, um, where it never, like, froze in the last hundred years or something like that, so, <laughs> anyway, so that's for, that's it for me for now. So uh, please uh, comment on your questions and suggestions. And if there's anything that I can pray for for you, please let me know. Or um, you can go to my website, bit.ly slash Aloha Jedi. And there you can um, submit your prayer request in private, anonymously if you want. And I can make a video if you want it to be public and have um, as many people as possible pray for you. So, so have a blessed evening and I will talk to you tomorrow.